Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, guys, um, Salt Media have again, um, I guess, archived all the extreme weather events we've had in November and um, uh, published that. <coughs> they do an excellent job. I've kind of archived uh, their work since August, I think, October, and now you've got um, November as well. Uh, pretty sure I've probably done three already and this is probably the fourth installment at any rate let's um, watch this together More than 70 wildfires stretch across eight southern states. Those fires have already charred more than 100,000 acres and forced evacuations. In North Carolina, flames are threatening at least 1,700 structures. We have California wildfires in North Carolina. From the flames, massive plumes of smoke. So much that dozens of counties are facing air quality advisories. A view from NASA shows the extent of the smoke. Some of it has started to drift into the metro Atlanta area. Dry conditions and severe drought that plague much of the region. Nearly 40% of the southeast is facing drought, including three quarters of Alabama and half the state of Georgia. Conditions are terrible. It's so dry. Even just tossing a cigarette out in your front yard can cause a fire. I've lived here all my life, 65 years, never seen like it. Wow! 
It struck just after midnight. A powerful 7.5 magnitude earthquake rocking the South Island. It hit in North Canterbury near Hanmer Springs and it was felt right across the country. It triggered more than 100 aftershocks and sparked a tsunami warning for the entire east coast. Waves of two and a half metres were recorded, the highest tsunami waves New Zealand has seen in close to 40 years. What the f is going on? Disturbing find in the Hamptons, a canal full of tens of thousands of dead fish. At one point, folks here say the carpet of dead fish spanned the entire Shinnecock Canal. Just totally bizarre. A distance of as much as 180 feet across. Marina worker Kelly Gibson says it was a sight she'd never seen in a lifetime living and working on the water. I was like, oh my God, what's happening? Really, like, what's happening? They're not just floating on top of the water. They're actually stepping on the bottom of it. This is the view the Quick family has when they look outside their sliding glass doors and into their backyard. Saturday night, the ground in their backyard gave way, opening a hole at least 40 feet wide and 30 feet deep. The impact of days of bad weather in northern Italy. This was Imperia on Friday, some 50 kilometers from the French border. Bridges and roads closed, cars carried off by the floods, hundreds of people evacuated as rivers broke their banks. In Turin, two tourist boats were swept away until their path was barred. Days of torrential rain in Italy have left entire villages covered in mud. Some of the worst hit areas are in the northwest of the country, including here in Rezzo, Liguria. Two people died as a result of the flooding, and three more are still missing. Chasms have opened up in this ski resort in Monesi, which has been partially evacuated. Hydrogeological problems in the area have been worsening year upon year.
scorching temperatures, wild winds and then heavy rain. Melbourne has been hit by extreme weather, which has damaged homes and left thousands of asthma sufferers struggling to cope. Melbourne weather, tornado. Oh my God. Ambulance Victoria bombarded with calls for help for people suffering thunderstorm asthma. Sent a large number of people to hospital. It was so big that Ambulance Victoria says that an hour after the storm hit, they ran out of paramedics. They had to call on the MFB and Victoria Police for help. Within about half an hour, just out of control, I couldn't breathe. It was getting worse. Much of the Pacific Northwest is saturated and bracing for the second storm in as many days. It's been raining non-stop for about 14 hours. More than seven inches of rain falling near the Oregon coast. Winter is coming with a vengeance. Shocking cold, whipping winds, and whiteout conditions. Upstate New York tonight hit especially hard already. The snow topping three feet in some places. Slick roads and frigid temperatures in Ohio blamed for this 40-car pileup Sunday night. And this inferno in New Jersey sparked after high winds down power lines. A similar scene over the weekend in northern Michigan. Down power lines sparking a fire that engulfed two cars. Overnight, winter's first major storm turning deadly. The storm hammering parts of upstate New York, dropping more than 40 inches of snow in some areas, homes buried, the whipping winds and whiteout conditions leaving highways hazardous, littered with wreckage. In parts of this region, snow has been falling for two days straight, and it's not stopping anytime soon. Fueled by strong winds and dry weather, part of Haifa's skyline has been transformed by fire. The billowing smoke forcing the authorities to order tens of thousands of people to leave the city. Many homes have already been destroyed. The main highway between Israel's third biggest city and Tel Aviv was closed for some time, while teams tried to put out the flames as they gained ground on residential areas. The wildfires have struck an area close to Jerusalem, with some property already lost to the blaze. Homes have also been damaged in part of the occupied West Bank.
tornado warning. Tonight, a full-on tornado outbreak is hammering the south. This massive funnel cloud caught north of Miramar Beach, Florida. Water spouts crashing ashore. In Atlanta, tornado sirens sound the alarm as residents shelter in place. This after more than two dozen reported twisters overnight. It looks like a war zone up here. Residents emerge from storm shelters to utter destruction. The damage here is absolutely awful. At least three killed in the town of Rosalie, Alabama. The tornado, a massive EF2, wind speeds over 110 miles an hour. This daycare in Flat Rock flattened. You can see the toys among the wreckage. Three adults and three children who took shelter here seriously injured. The storm's cutting a deadly path from Mississippi to Tennessee, where two more people were killed in the storm, as they still deal with raging wildfires. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Not one single warning on the news. You were telling me nobody knew. Almost every cabin in Chalet Village is burning to the freaking ground. The governor is calling it the largest forest fire in Tennessee in 100 years responsible for at least three deaths. Completely gone. Scorching hundreds of homes and businesses, more than 14,000 forced to flee the resort towns of Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. We were dealing with 70 mile per hour winds. It just exploded.